Are you happy everybody today? Yes. Are you? Yes. Great. Good. <coughs> if you are happy, give clapping to the Lord Jesus Christ. Before I start, I just want to say a few words. Se pehle ke main khuda ke kalam ki taraf aao main kuch ilfaz kehna chahta hu. It was a very difficult time in 2018 October, the day when the Margaret was poorly ill in cardiac ward and gasping due to the low hemoglobin. She was about to die. And when I was sitting there, Lord has spoken to me, being a man of God, what should be your response? I started thinking about it. When I was looking at Margaret, I was looking at the last breath, so in my heart, I asked God, पूछा कि इसका क्या बनेगा तो खुदावन ने कहा कि तू तो खुद खुदा मेरा खादम है तो तू बता तुझे क्या करना चाहिए सो आई जस्ट बाउ डाउन माई हेड एंड आई रिपेंटेड एंड आई से लॉर्ड आई शुड बी इन योर प्रेजेंस मुझे तेरी हजूरी में होना चाहिए था सो आई कॉल्ड इमीडिएटली एवरी वन दो who loved us, Margaret, me, and our family, and this church, from Bristol to Yate and to, to all the Bath, everyone gathered here. Sub log ek avas par ek din me kathe ho gaye. And we spent almost two and a half hours in prayer. And then everyone. We went to hospital with the faith that God had healed. And also, still the doubt was there in some of the hearts. Maybe this is the last time we are seeing Margaret. But thanks to the Holy Spirit, thanks to the Lord Jesus, thanks for His blood, who have brought her back in life and she sustained. So then I said to Margaret, we should thank you for giving us thanks. Margaret said that I am not ready. I am still not ready to say thanks for that. And then this uh, COVID started. And in COVID, she got weaker and weaker and weaker, lost all her weight. And from uh, NHS, we were receiving letter because of her blood reports and things that uh, she should be kept separate, should not visit anybody, nobody should uh, see her also, and like isolation living at home. It was a difficult time. Margaret missed her family, sisters and brothers as well, and definitely Mother and father, those who slept in Christ, she was remembering them also. And she was every day thinking, maybe she is going this time. Again, Lord sustained her and given her a new life. Then God gave her a new life and she was very safe. In December, we felt that she was better. And last December, we felt she is a little better. Me and Rumail, we went to Pakistan because my, mo my mother said that uh, it's a two and a half years I've not seen you and I'm feeling like you should come and see me before I pass away. So me and Rumail, we went and visited and while we were there only two days, we heard the news Margaret in hospital because of a heart attack. It was a serious heart attack on 24th night and 25th Christmas day morning, 4 o'clock morning she was having a severe chest pain, ambulance was called, it took almost 2 hours to come 
and then she was taken to the hospital. And the first day was gone with the pain and some medication to reduce the pain. And then they decided on 26 to put in stunt in her heart. So that was done and then God have given her another life. And not only that, then again a attack came because me and Rumail, we rushed back from Pakistan and to see her. And this uh, stunt have given her an other condition called CCF, congestive cardiac failure, which have left her with the, all the water in her tummy and legs were swollen like a big balloon. That was also a difficult time for us because nobody was allowed to see Margaret and we were standing in the parking down and Margaret was standing in the uh, window because uh, some patients were helping her to bring and we were just waving her from there and it was really really difficult time but God had given her a new life and this time I spoke to Margaret now is the time you should give thanks to the Lord and we should announce this we need to declare that Jesus have healed you and this is the time that's why as soon the church is started this building available because some construction work was going on there because they're changing the toilet to the uh, disabled uh, toilets so that's why it's a unisex uh, toilet be careful when you're going knock the door everyone I'm telling all right so eki bathroom hai is vak dusra construction mein hai to please carefully udha jayega so to cut the story short i will say god love margaret because he have given her a life not only once but several times and another person who was Really, I was frightening and trembling in my heart was Brother Raju when he was because of uh, due to the this uh, COVID he was in CCU ITU he was with the this uh, oxygen therapy and uh, this uh, respirator sort of thing and was nobody was allowed from his family as well so they are gone through the same situation there. so I can understand. So many of you have lost their beloved one. And that's why we all need to give thanks to the Lord and come. Margaret, I would like to come and say a few words to the Lord and the people. Those who are praying for you earnestly. Because I don't want to interrupt in the, in the, during the word. <coughs> I want to give thanks for everyone. Itni mushkil mein bhi Esther mujhe milne aati thi, Deva mujhe milne aati thi. Thanks for those nurses who were taking care and Sushila, she was calling from India, really. And her mother, they were all praying for me. And they were uh, coming, praying and going. And Thomas, he was after five, five minutes leaving the patients and coming to me to see me. And all reports were going to Sashila. And she was telling whoever wanted. In night, Esther was on night and she was keep coming, what you want to eat, I will bring. And children also, give auntie this thing to eat, give auntie this thing to eat. But I was not able to because I was, uh, my tummy was aching, I couldn't eat and drink. When I was drinking and eating my t 
tummy was hurting and nauseatic. So that's why in everyone, thanks for your help, thanks for your prayers, <coughs> and thanks looking after me. Even nobody can uh, see them, but uh, hiding behind curtains and helping me. They, because they were wearing uniform, nobody could uh, tell them to not go. Stop and every uh, so I am, and everyone was calling from their homes. Yes. Can I come to see you? But uh, doctors uh, said no. You can't see. You are under umbrella. Umbrella means isolated, covered. covered. Even my children was not coming inside. Outside they were having shower and changing clothes, then they were coming inside. So, it's a, I was at home. So it, is, it was like a, um, nobody could see me, so I couldn't see anyone, only these few people. So I'm very thankful for your prayers. Everyone was calling and praying for me. Thank you very much. So I wanted to see everyone and thanks for your love, prayers and looking after me. Thanks a lot. So, I think it's uh, after three years we are meeting. Can I preach two hours? Is it all right? Teen saal ke baad mil rahe bhai do ghanta to band hai na? Three hours. See? <laughs> Anyhow, I will not take that much time. Let's open the Bibles. Psalm 105 verses 1 to 5. I will request anybody who is having Bibles. Please read it for me in English and I will read for Urdu in with me in the Bible. So whenever I ask any or give any verse, please read it in English. Whoever gets first. Please. Psalm 105 verses 1 to 5. Give thanks to the Lord, call on his name, make mm -hmm. known among the nations what he has done. Sing to him, sing praises to him. Tell of all you his wonderful acts. Glory in his holy name. Let his heart of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. Remember the wonders of his he has done. His miracles and the judgment he pronounced. Amen. Hallelujah. So my Dear brothers and sisters and all the beloved one children here, I just want to say that Psalm is full of thanksgiving. If we read in the Old Testament, Samuel prophet was also giving thanks every day, everything, and he was even he said that. It should not be happen. God forgive, uh, forgive me and should not put me as a sinner if I will not pray for you like that, he says. And he was praying all the time. He was a man of prayers and he was living in the presence of God. So that's why Giving thanks is a key for so many things. So we are going to see a few points today. Why should we give thanks? There is lot of lot of reasons around. And if we read from Psalm 100 verses 4 and 5, that is very beautiful verses there and telling us why we should give 
thanks to the Lord. Read someone please in English. Psalm 100 verses 4 and 5. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, mm -hmm. and his courts with praise. Mm -hmm. Give thanks to him, and praise mm -hmm. his name, mm -hmm. for the Lord is mm -hmm. good, and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. Amen. Shukur guzari karte ve uske phatko mein, aur hamd karte ve uski bargahon mein dakhil lo. Uska shukur karo, aur uske naam ko mubarek kaho. Pehli baat to ye hai. Aur jo dousri khas baat hai, wo, kyunke khudaman, भला है खुदाوند क्या है भला है उसकी शफकत अब्दी है और उसकी वफादारी पुश दर पुश रहती है जनरेशन आफ्टर जनरेशन हिज मर्सीज फॉल्स अपॉन अस सो मेरे अजीजों सबसे पहली जो जरूरी बात है वो ये है कि गॉड इज गुड द फर्स्ट थिंग इज God is good, so we should give thanks to Him. Always we should give thanks to Him. And the second thing, He is a merciful God whose mercies last forever. Uski jo, uska jo rahem hai, uska jo karam hai, wo humare jo aane wali naslo tak kaim rata hai. वो एक ऐसा खुदा है कि जो अपने दिल में नफरत नहीं रखता वो एक ऐसा खुदा है कि जो गुस्से में आके गराज नहीं लेता जब से हम मसीह यीशु के खून में छिप गए हैं अब वो हमें जब भी देखता है तो पहले यीशु का लहू उसे नजर आता है और जब हम उसके लहू में छिपकर अभी हम गीत में भी गा रहे थे we were just singing that when we hide ourselves in the blood of Jesus, all our sins are hidden from the eyes of the Lord. So that's why what we need to do is for we have to give <coughs> thanks for his uh, this mercy on our generations and his truth which endures to all generations and that truth is not only for the Christians not only for the Jews but for all generations his truth endures forever uski jo sachai hai wo kya kiske liye hai saare jahano ke liye hai har ek ke liye uski sachai hai aur uski sachai koon hai Yesu Masih. Who is, who is that truth? Jesus is the truth. Because Jesus himself said, says that I am the way and the life and truth. Nobody have claimed since Adam up to Jesus or even after Jesus. Nobody have this claim. Nobody can claim that he is the truth. Jesus is the only person in the Bible and in the world who have claimed it that he is a truth. So we have to give thanks for Jesus which is given us from the Heavenly Father. And because of Jesus, we have received so many things. Abhi hum gaare te tere maa, kabhi kabhi hum gaate tere maa khane se humne shifa. Through your stripes we have been healed. So it was not the people who got healed and sitting here after corona attacks it's not our goodness that may God have spared us no it was his mercy through Lord Jesus Christ those who were coming to the Lord in this situation jin logo ne bhi aisi halat mein khuda ke huzur juke hain खुदा ने उन्हें पूरे घरानों समेत ना सिर्फ शिफा बख्शी है बल्कि उन्हें संभाला है कायम रखा है और बेटी ईदत को मैं मेंशन करना चाहूंगा कि हमेशा दुआ के लिए मुझे फोन करती रहती थी कुछ छोटे से छोटा मसला भी उसके ईमान के लिए मैं उसका उसके बारे में बता रहा हूं 
کہ اس کا ایمان تھا کہ جب میں خدا کے حضور جھکوں گا تو خدا اس کی سن لے گا اور میرے خیال میں اس کے پاس بہت ساری گواہیاں ہیں جو کبھی وہ آپ کے ساتھ میرے حوالے سے اور خدا کے حوالے سے شیئر کر سکتی ہے کہ خدا نے کیسے ان دعاؤں کا جواب دیا بہت ساری گواہیاں ایک دو نہیں ہے بیکاز وین وی ہیو اے ٹیسٹ منی ان دا لائف گوڈ لارڈ ہیو ورکڈ سم تھنگ ان اوور لائف وی شوڈ گیو تھینکس فار دیٹ جب خدا ہماری زندگی میں کوئی بھی کام کرتا ہے چھوٹے سے چھوٹا کام ہو بڑے سے بڑا کام ہو تو ہمیں کیا کرنے کی ضرورت ہے شکر گزاری کرنے کی ضرورت ہے And اس شکر گزاری کا فائدہ کیا ہوگا وٹ ول بی دا بینیفٹ آف تھینکس گیونگ کین اینی بڈی ٹیل می کسی کے دل میں آتا ہے کوئی خیال شکر گزاری کا مطلب کا فائدہ کیا ہوتا ہے Oh, so blessings multiplied. Good. Anybody else? Any other idea coming to mind? It pleases God. It pleases God. There was ten leopard came to Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> They want to be healed. Jesus says, go and show yourself to the, your priest, high priest. Jao apne aapko kahino ko dikhao ja ke, high priest ko ja ke dikhao. And how many came back to say thank you? One. And that was also not from the Jerusalem or Judah. He was Samaritan. And Jesus was pleased because of his thanksgiving. He came to say thank you. Instead of going to the, uh, to the priests to show themselves that I'm healed, he came to Jesus who healed him. So we always, when we live in our life, healing lata hai. Whenever Jesus brings healing in our life, what we need to do is give thanks. Pronounce it. Go and tell the people what the Lord has done in your life. That will please Him. You are not advertising yourself. See, I was, uh, God have a special love with me, that's why I'm healed. No, 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 no. It will please the Lord Jesus Christ. It will please the God. خدا جو ہے آپ کی شکر گزاری سے کیا ہوگا خوش ہوگا بہت خوش ہوگا اینڈ دیٹس وائی وی نیڈ ٹو گیو تھینکس ٹو دا لارڈ اینڈ دا سیکنڈ تھنگ اٹ ول ایڈیفائی ادرس اٹ ول ایڈیفائی ادرس اس سے دوسرے لوگوں کے ایمان میں اضافہ ہوگا دا پیپل ول گرو ان دیئر فیتھ ان دیئر ان دیئر لائف دیر ول بی ایڈیفیکیشن ان دیم بیکاز آف یور ٹیسٹ منی یو آر ناٹ بوسٹنگ یور سیلف وین یو آر گیونگ ٹیسٹ منی یو آر ناٹ بوسٹنگ یور فیملی یو آر ناٹ بوسٹنگ یور پاسٹر نو What you are doing it, you are edifying the other people's, their faith will move up. I just want to sh share a little testimony there. There was a lady in, uh, when I was in, uh, working in Gulf country, li living in Sharjah. So in someone's house, there was a prayer meeting going on. And Lord spoke to me and said, call this lady and pray for her. And I just said to her, then I was thinking what to pray now. And Lord says, tell her, I literally heard the voice, tell her husband to put his hand lower abdomen and pray. When I prayed, Lord said, you are healed. And go and give thanks. She went home and Silent, nothing, I could not he heard anything from her. After three months, I was preaching in another city, Abu Dhabi, I was preaching in a church. 
And there, the same lady came up and she said, I want to share a testimony to the pastor. And the pastor said, you tell me first what the testimony is, as usual. I would like to hear first before anybody giving my platform, isn't it? But she said, no, this is something very personal as a woman, so I can't tell you, but I will tell everyone. So, pastor allowed her. <coughs> Being an Asian woman, it's a very, very difficult in Asian countries back home talking about the uterus. Because it's a shame to talk these things in front of. And she came and she said, I had fibroid uterus. The solia thi uski uski bache dani me. Thik hai? And pastor, uh, brother Roshan called me and said, uh, I never told him, but he, he called me and called Gibran, her husband, and said, put hand here and he prayed. And I, have, I went home and shared with my sister-in-law, elder brother's uh, wife, uh, and said, this man of God, he called me and said like this, shall we go to doctor and check? And this lady, to whom she shared this, she said, leave it, these people talk like that. It is not possible without operation. So she keep quiet. So then, after one week, she, she went to another city. She was praying. A man of God stood up, put a hand on her and said, God has healed you and you are doubting on it and it's not going to good for you. Then she trembled. She went home and spoke again with that same lady. She said, this, this is the second time it's happened. One said, you are healed. Other said, you are not believing it, so you will be in trouble. Because you So, then this, then this lady, she said, okay, let's go and check with the doctor. She got the appointment, and they went to see the doctor in the <coughs> Dubai Rashid Hospital. And when the gynecologist saw her, examined her, she said, let's have the uh, this uh, ultrasound. There was nothing in ultrasound. Hallelujah. All the fibroids had disappeared. Sari the soliya just ki bache dani me the wo gaib ho Then she said, okay, let's let's do the scan. And when they did the scan, nothing came in scan. And doctor said. Did you went to India or Pakistan to have a surgery? She said, no. She said, this is not possible. This cannot be happening. And this lady, she testified in front of full um, congregation. She said, I want to give thanks to the Lord through Brother Rochan. He has healed me. And I'm telling you to glorify his name. And you know what happened after that? There was a lady, she brought a child who was nine years old. Now they are living in, in uh, USA. So that, when she, she brought that uh, child, she said, Pastor, Brother Roshan, he's yeah. having a skin disease, which is not healing. Last nine months, dermatologist, <laughs> dermatologist is uh, really upset. He have tried everything, but it's not getting. I said, Lord, Jesus can heal. So I just prayed. And next week, I was not in Abu Dhabi, in that church. And this lady had took off clothes of this child and shown to everyone, look, every spot is gone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So what happened? This lady who had a fibroid uterus, when she testified for Jesus Christ, when she had uh, uh, shared the the healing she have received, it have edified the hope and, and the faith of that other lady. And this child was healed same night. That was a great miracle for her. And 
Oh, everyone was laughing because she did not feel ashamed for the child. She had taken off all his clothes in front of people. So that's what the joy inside of us. So when we God gives us a gift, we have to keep it for our sake. We should not stop it. Either it is healing for a small thing or a great thing. Or when God gives us a gift in our life, मोजिजा करते हैं किसी भी किस्म का चाहे वो फाइनेंशियल मोजिजा है चाहे वो क्या कहना चाहिए आपके मुश्किलात हैं जो जिंदगी में या रिलेशनशिप का मोजिजा है स्किन की डिजीज है या और कोई हमें खुदा के घर में आकर लोगों को बताने की जरूरत है वी शुड कम इनटू द प्रेजेंस ऑफ गॉड एंड टेल एवरीवन व्हाट द लॉर्ड हैव डन टू यू दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट you know, otherwise when we are not telling, when God have done something, the Satan, the devil is there, he is bringing something else, one after one, one after one, and he will keep torturing, because the person who is receiving he healing is not glorifying the name of God, either due to the shame or some other, because Jesus said, if you will be ashamed in front of people, I will be ashamed in front of angels in heaven. So, we don't need to be ashamed. The daughter who had announced that the soldiers would be gone, she didn't have to be ashamed. It was a shame for her to tell her. But when God has healed her, she has told her that the other person उससे बढ़ गया तो इसलिए जो खुदा की जो भलाई है उसको बयान करने से मत डरे उसको रोक के ना रखें ताकि दूसरों का ईमान बढ़ता रहे वंस यू विल से थिंग्स गॉड हैव डन फॉर यू इट विल एडिफाई द फेथ ऑफ ऑल पीपल यू शुड नॉट हाइड इट और होल्ड इट बट शेयर इट so God's mercies will flow more and more and more upon you. So how to give thanks? Nehemiah, Nehemiah chapter 12 verse 27 for me please anybody can read. Nehemiah. If anybody find it, please read it. Nehemiah, chapter 12, verse 27. At the dedication of the wall of Jerusalem, mm -hmm. the Levites were sought out from where they lived and were brought to Jerusalem to celebrate joyfully the dedication with songs of thanksgiving and with the music of cymbals, harps and lyres. Hallelujah! Quran ke kalam mein likha hai ke aur Yerushalam ki shahre pana ki takdees ke wakt unho ne laviyon ko unki sab jagon se dhoon nikala ke unko Yerushalam mein lai ta ke khushi khushi jhanj aur sattar aur barbat ke saath shukar guzari karein. Kis chiz ke saath shukar guzari karni hai? All the symbols of harps and lyres. All these music symbols, we have to give thanks. Chup ke shukar gudari ni karni hai. Mein apne bistre chikali shukar gudari. Mein khudanu shukar kya dita. No, everyone does that. When they are in bed, they say, Oh yes, I have done. Thank you Lord, thank you Jesus, thank you you have done for me. Yeah, everyone. But, this is what, because the, this uh, Nehemiah, when he came to the Jerusalem, all the walls were destroyed. All these gates were burned. And he started rebuilding it. And once they completed it, they have given thanks to the Lord. Gawkar. Kaise? Gawkar. Singing. By singing, we have to give thanks to the Lord. Everyone should hear that. Aapki shukar guzari andar se nikle, logo ko nazar aaye. Everyone should be 
witness it and then God will please with that because you were not ashamed to tell God mercy upon you and everyone is got healed. You know sometimes people want to pray but they don't want to know anybody else what is going on in their life. It's good. Confidential deal is good. But once you healed, it's not count confidentiality. It's something has happened which the Lord has done miracle in your life. That's important to share. <clears throat> you know, when I was young, my church fellows and my friends, <clears throat> they were feeling anger on me because every Sunday or every 15 days, I was standing here to give some testimony. Small thing happened to my life. I was telling pastor, can I share my testimony? Can I share my testimony? And today I'm saying it's not my pride, but this is God's grace. He made me to stand in front of all of you and around 92 countries when I was on television. So people are taught because of that thanksgiving, habit of thanksgiving. Or shukar guzari publicly karni hai. We have to speak publicly. We tell the people what the Lord has done. Ga ke khushi se. People should feel that you are really feeling joy inside of you. What the Lord has done to you. So, I will not take you to two hours. So we will come and to this message. So what we need to do is, we should come to the Lord. We should hide the things God have done in our life. And once, the more we will share with the people, the more God will bless you, as Sister said that. The blessings will be multiplied for everything. It's not only healing I'm talking, everything. Lord have given me job. Like for Ramala, I want to say, in the season of COVID, when everyone was losing the job, Ramala got the job. In the time of COVID, when the people were, I mean, said no to, no more required, no more required, because people are working from home. She got the job. That was her time to give thanks. So, इसी तरह से जब हम माली मुश्किलात में होते हैं, when we are in trouble with the finance and God is providing, we need to give thanks and let everyone should know that God. If you can't go, just pick a phone and tell the people, tell what the Lord have done with in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. क्या हम ऐसा करेंगे? ज़रूर हम ऐसा ही करेंगे. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let's bow down our heads now. <coughs> the Lord of Lord, the King of Kings, Almighty God, you have power, you have strength, and you have the will to help us, Father. And your word says your ears are attentive to hear our prayers and your eyes are roaring on the word to help your seekers and the who fears you. So Father, I want to give thanks especially as your servant and more of it the, as a family, head of the family for the healing of Margaret. Thank you Jesus. Thank you for everything you have done with us during this all the time. Yes, Lord. Father, when I was in Pakistan, when Margaret had a heart attack, my whole body was sh shaking, Father. Because I don't want to lose her, Father. You heard my prayers. You answered that, given her life, and bring her back. She is here today to say thank you to you. Father, and thank you to all those who are praying for her, Father. 
Thank you for the children's support as well, Father. And thank you everyone who have played their role to looking after her. And thank, thank you, Lord, that because of the nursing job, I was in, uh, busy with the, my job to, with the 12-hour shifts, Father. So you have provided me another job which I can come and see anytime Margaret and look after her while I am on job as well. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for everyone who has come here, Father. And I want to pray for those who were unable to come. Let your children go and share this word with them and edify their life as well. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. And come and bless everyone those are here today. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. Amen.